Hi everyone, welcome to Veronica Hug. So today I'm going to show you this wonderful project. So this is a really beautiful shawl that's going to be very easy. So even if you're a beginner, you can do it. And for that, I use the Woolly Hugs Bobble Cotton today and it's 800 grams per 200 grams to 800 meters per 200 grams per each ball. You have different colors that you can choose from and it's really wonderful to work with. So if you know my videos from before, then you already know that I usually use some thicker yarn when I do the projects for the videos, just so it's easier for you to follow. But I do recommend using the bobble cotton. It's going to be nicer in the end. So this is the Wooly Hugs Cashmere and it's 50 grams and 190 meters, 78% cotton, 14% polyamid and 8% cashmere. And yeah, you can work with both, but um, yeah, whichever one you prefer. So let's get started. We're going to start with chains as always. So first do a little slip knot and then we're going to chain three for the bottom dip. Then here I'm going to hold the third chain and I'm going to do five more chains. So this is going to be replacing the first triple treble, triple half treble. So we're going to take two yarns over. We're going to go into this third chain. So that's the one we just held. And then we're going to take our yarn with us. And now we're going to go through two loops first and then through two more. And again, so three times total. Afterwards, we're going to do nine more chains. Okay, then again, nine or not nine, two yarns over, then go into the next stitch here and let's again go three times through two loops at a time. There we go. So now into this first chain, we're going to do one half treble crochet. So we're going to do three yarns over, we're going to go through and then we're going to go through two loops, then again through two loops and at the end through three loops. So this is the difference here. That's why it's a half treble. And now I'm going to mark the rows just so you know where we're at in case you need to rewind when you do it on your own. So the row two begins with three chains for the height, then we're going to turn. Then on top of this doubled treble, we're going to do a regular treble. So we're going to go in with one yarn over and then we're going to go through two and again through two. Okay, so now around this bow, we're going to do 10 trebles. So yarn over through two and through two, 10 times. Four. Eight, two more. Fifteen. 
there we go. Now we go into the double treble on this side with a regular treble. So yarn over, go through, and then through two, two times. Now we're going to do this treble with the treble next to it. So we're basically not finishing it up right now. Instead, we're doing two yarns over into the first chain here of the five that we did. We go in, we take the yarn with us, and then we do three times through two loops. And then at the end, we go through all three, actually the three that are left over on the hook. Now we can begin with row three. So we need five chains. We're gonna turn and into the first chain or the first stitch, we're gonna do a doubled treble. So double the yarn over. Then we're gonna do nine chains. nine there we go and now here into the first second third fourth chain or stitch we're gonna go in and do a slip stitch so that means that we're just taking the yarn with us as we go no yarns over no anything else then we're gonna do five chains afterward and then when you do these five we're gonna skip the two chains or the two stitches here i keep saying chains and that's when we're gonna do a slip stitch then again the nine so that it's symmetrical And here on top of the treble that I did on the doubled treble, I'm going to do another doubled treble. So two yarns over and then through two at a time until you have just one loop left. So three times through two. Then a half or a doubled half treble, maybe that's a better name. So three yarns over and then we go through the next stitch here and we go through two and through two again and then through the leftover three loops. Row number four begins with three chains for the height turn into the next stitch so into the double treble we do a regular treble and then around this bow we have 10 trebles so just like in the row before last seven and ten then around the five we're gonna do one single and around the next bow again come ten trebles four Seven. and ten. Then on top of the last doubled treble we do another treble. So through two but don't finish it this time and then two yarns over 
and into the fifth chain from the last row we go in we take the yarn with us and we go once through two one more time through two and then we're gonna have three loops left over we finish them off at once fifth row begins with five chains for the height again then a doubled treble on top of the next stitch that we have and now we again have nine chains nine there we go then the first three trebles we skip from the 10, we go into the fourth one and we do a slip stitch. Then five chains, we skip the two stitches on the bottom, so these two and then another slip stitch. Then we do again nine chains. And then for, from the next bow, we again count three and to the fourth, we do a slip stitch, five chains again. So you already know how this goes. You skip the two on the bottom. So that would be these two. And then we do a slip stitch next to those two. And then we again do nine chains. and then a doubled treble on top of the treble of the last row. So that would be the treble that comes on top of the doubled treble here. And then we do a triple treble into the first stitch here. Row six begins like the second and fourth. So we're gonna do three chains for the height. We're gonna turn, we're gonna do a treble there and around the bow come 10 trebles. Four. nine and ten and then we have one single on top of here and then we're gonna start with the next bow the same way with ten trebles and you see here we're gonna go around this bow here so this is the sixth row and we're gonna do ten trebles there after we do that section, here comes one single. So just like on these spots right here that build a triangle, and then we move on to the last bow of this row and we do again 10 trebles. After the 10 trebles, we do one more treble on top of the doubled treble here, and that's it. And that's how you keep repeating the fifth and the sixth row and that's basically all there is to it. So you can of course do this for as long as you like until you run out of yarn or reach the size that you'd like. So this is a pretty nice project. As you can see, it's pretty simple. You're not gonna use a whole lot of yarn for it as well. So even if you don't have much, you might get a really nice result in the end. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to let me know by shooting a thumbs up you can also subscribe to the channel and if you click on the notification bell, you'll never miss a new video that I post. So thanks for watching this project. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day. Bye.